Tony Tyler from 10thumbspro.com. Coming at you with another guitar lesson today and we are breaking down Piano Man by Mr. Billy Joel. We're gonna get the tasty walking bass and the little fills and all kinds of fun stuff. You can print out tabs up here for this lesson and all our lessons by becoming a Patreon. T-shirts in the notes as well. With new guitar lessons every single Monday, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you never miss a lesson and you can learn with us. Skype lessons one on one if you're interested, maybe you wanna learn more about these techniques. But if you came just cause you wanna learn Piano Man, that's cool, I dig it and I respect it. All you're gonna need is that guitar, brain and attention span. You got those three things, follow me on in and let's break this lesson down together. Come on in. Cool, so why don't we go ahead and start with the intro. We're gonna have some crazy chords that you're probably not familiar with. At the core of all this though, it's happening with a C chord, an A minor chord, G chord, F chord, D chord. And you'll see some variations of all those, but those are all the chords. Oh, and we'll see an E minor in there as well, all right? So those are all the chords that we're gonna have. But we got this walking bass action. So why don't we go ahead and start off with the first little bit. We're gonna, and it's in three, four time as well. So what does that mean? It means one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So our strum pattern is gonna look like. And I'm gonna play a little lower on the bridge. Get a little more boom. Kind of scratchier sound. Um, that's the sound I prefer with the acoustic guitar. I don't want it screaming and shouting too much. And what you're gonna do is pluck the bass one and then down, up, down, up. So it's like one, one, two, and three, and 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 one, two, and three. Okay? So we're gonna do boom, down, up, down, up, boom. We're gonna remove our uh, pointer finger and put our middle finger on the second fret here. Pretty common transition on a walk down, putting the B in the bass over the C. To an A minor. Pluck, down, up, down, up, pluck, down, up, down, up, pluck, down, up, down, up. And you're gonna get that pinky up bone and play an A minor with a G in the bass. If that's too awkward for you, the G would support the melody, but he's getting that G in the bass over the A minor. This song was for sure written for a piano, and you can tell right away because these are probably things that you're not used to, but they sound great. So those first four measures, one, two, and three, and 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 F, one, two, and three, and E minor, one, two, and three, and D, one, two, and three, and, and G, one, two, and three, and. And those eight bars make up the first half of the verse, but it's something that you're gonna see um, separated from the verse later. So let's just play what we got up to there so far. Okay, and then we're back to our C. First four measures are the same, C, B in the bass, A minor, A minor with a G in the bass, bonk. We're gonna go F again, but not to an E minor, we're gonna go up to a G, and that's the second half, and then we get in this little variation that happens. So we get, oops, so we get, Now at the end, this little piece right here is gonna vary. Sometimes it's gonna be four measures, sometimes it's gonna be two measures. It depends on which part in the song. There's three different pieces. The one at the end of the uh, intro sounds like this. And then it goes into the verse. In this part, you're a little more free with your strum pattern. You're not so stuck to that bass plucking. So I'm doing a down, down, up, down, up. Same kind of thing. And it's gonna happen over a C. And you're gonna get that pinky finger below your pointer finger, and this is called a C suspended four. Then we got this kind of spacey vibe thing going up here. We're playing the pointer finger on the third fret of the A string. 
ring finger on that G note, fifth fret of your D string, and then you can play the open G in the B if you want to. Cool. So we get one, two, three, one, two, well, excuse me, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, and then a riff, F, D, E, three, two, open, boom, and it happens again. So you get one, two, three, one, two, three, go ahead and play through the entire intro together. And then you're in top into the verse. Now, cool thing about the verse is, except for that piece, you pull that off, everything stays the same. That little turnaround would be different. So if we were to put the lyrics up and play through the first verse, we get, It's nine o'clock on a Saturday, the regular crowd shuffles in, there's an old man sitting next to me, making love. Okay, so then what do you do when you get to that C if you're not doing that whole thing? Just that C, C suspended, and then you go right back into it. Now, when you go back into it, it's the harmonica piece. The harmonica piece only plays the second half of the verse from the C. So you got the harmonica playing in the background and you go. Here. So what do we do this time? C, F, C, well suspended. This happens two times after the harmonica. So you're going to have to kind of listen for which turnaround that is. Usually after the harmonica, it's this one two times. After the intro and the chorus, it's the... And then in the middle of the verse with the lyrics, it's usually just... Okay, so we'll do a play along um, and connect these pieces here after we teach other pieces because we still have a bridge that'll provide a little more clarity for that. Okay? Alright, chorus, exactly the same as the verse in terms of strum pattern. You go through the whole thing, then you do the harmonica part. So nothing new there, but we do have a bridge. Okay, so the bridge is going to sound something like this. course. And what we're doing here is we're doing an A, bass, down, up, down, up, one, two, and three, and G, one, do, do. And then we're going to make a D chord, but we're going to get the bass with our thumb. Other ways you could do that would be something like this, but I find that just way more cumbersome and you got a bunch of open strings. So I think it's easier if you get that boom, do, 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 with your thumb to an F. So you get one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, boom. When you get back to the A minor this time, everything's going to stay the same, but instead of going to the F, you're going to hang on that D for a little while longer. You get one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Finish it off with a G. And here with the G and all this part, I'm kind of strumming it like the bridge. Not really worried about the bass. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. New chord, D minor. Alright. G, F, another F, G, F, E minor, D minor, and then back to the verse. Cool, so those are all the pieces to the tune. Now, it probably feels if you've practiced them, well, why don't we go ahead and play the bridge once with the lyrics up? La di da 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 La di da 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 Cool, and then it goes back into the verse. 
So those are all the pieces. You should have learned them. If you're uncomfortable with one of them, stick with it, figure it out, because now we're gonna put them all together um, in a play along. This isn't the entire song, because it's a pretty long song with a lot of repetition, but here you'll be able to see how all the pieces come together, so you'll have a little more context when you play along with this song, which is what I ultimately recommend you doing. It's also a good idea when you play along with this tune to put some headphones on so you can hear that bass. Cool, so here we go from the top. song just keeps on going after that. Sometimes in between the verses it'll be a little longer, a little shorter. But those are all the pieces you need to play this iconic tune, all right? 10thumbspro.com. Thank you so much for subscribing and learning. Keep on rocking and rolling. Remember printable PDFs up here with all the lyrics, uh, walk down all the tabs. T-shirts up there from Etsy. Let them know where you're learning. Skype lessons one-on-one -on -one if you have some questions about walk and bass or anything guitar related or ukulele related for that matter. Um, and we'll see you next Monday for our next guitar lesson. Lovely day, everybody. Rock. Cool, everybody. So that was it. Thank you so much for watching at the very end. We love you here at 10thumbspro.com. Thank you for supporting us and this music project, and we'll keep seeing you as we keep progressing forward together on our musical journey. Take care and have a lovely day.